so hello everyone welcome back now let us discuss problem number 12.20 of griffith's electrodynamics chapter number 12 electrodynamics and relativity so let's start in a part he is saying event a happens at point 5 3 and 0 5 3 and 0 and cta as 15 so it is uh, i have written in uh, terms of ct comma x comma y comma z i hope you can get it if you have read the theory so this is for a now for b it is 5 10 8 and 0 all right he is asking what is the invariant interval between a and b so invariant interval which is given by you can say that ds square is equal to c just a second c dt square c square dt square minus dx square minus dy square minus dz square generally in most of the books it is written minus c dt square plus dx square plus dy square plus dz square it is all about uh, putting minus sign where we, uh, which negative we, you are using negative as this axis or negative as these axis so i am i am using this convention i i'll be always always using i is equal to this invariant interval simply putting the values c uh, what is dt uh, dt is the time interval between a and b so a t a minus t b as 10 whole square which is 100 minus uh, D, ds is what is ds uh, 5 minus 10 which is uh, 25 minus 25 minus 0 so that if you take c square is equal to 1 or you can say that speed of light is equal to 1 it is equal to 100 minus 50 it is equal to 50 and which is greater than 1 so in this convention if i comes out to be greater than 1 then it is called as time like time like all right time like means that uh, let me uh, time like i'll be showing you what this, what what does time like means let let us come to the b part then you will get uh, what does time like means so b part is saying that uh, is there any inertial frame in which they occur simultaneously if so find its velocity relative to s so uh, what is time like time like means if two uh, in intervals are time like or two systems are time like then they cannot occur simultaneously what it means they uh, cannot occur at the same time all right so that is why we say that uh, it is time like all right now coming to the uh, c uh, third part so i hope you have uh, you got your answer that what is time like if Uh, i is greater than 0 then it is said to be time like and if it is time like then if interval is time like then the uh, the uh, a and b the two events cannot occur simultaneously i hope you can you you have got the answer for second part similarly if they uh, if there is an inertial system in which they occur at same point if so yes if two events are time like then they can occur at the same point but they can occur they cannot occur simultaneously what it means that uh, they can occur at same point they, they can occur here but the time difference between them is not zero here i hope you can get that it is greater than zero so time uh, uh, simultaneously means dt is equal to zero but dt is not equal to zero dt has some value so how can it be uh, simultaneous that is why if uh, intervals are time like they are not simultaneously they can occur at same point but they are not simultaneous so that's the second part now coming to the third part no c part uh, is there any initial if so find all right so what we'll be doing is to find that frame we'll use the velocity formula simply and velocity is distance upon time so for time we we have got the time that is uh, it is given in the in the in the uh, uh, frame uh, in the event t and uh, in the event a and b the time interval is uh, d, uh, let me write dt here oh sorry dt here so time interval is 10 upon c so it is the time now because uh, dt is given as 
C dt is given as 10. So dt is equal to 10 by C. I hope you got it. And D, D for 2 is uh, the two events are uh, 5, minus 5 and minus 5. Uh, it occurs at minus 5 i cap minus 5 j cap and the time is uh, this so velocity comes out to be if you say what is the magnitude of velocity so you can say that it is 1 by 2 uh, uh, c c by 2 comma c by 2 and the d uh, z coordinate is 0 if the z coordinate is uh, in this case both z are given 0 if they are not they in some question, other question if they are not 0 then it's uh, component will also come in the z direction the velocity in z direction and with a negative sign sorry we i forgot the negative to put the negative sign so this is the velocity in this frame now in the next part he's asking repeat this part for this, this well let us repeat uh, this is b uh, second part sorry second part which is saying that a is equal to let me just read 200 500 and 13 so a is given as 1 comma 2 comma 0 comma 0 B is given as uh, 3 comma 5 comma 0 comma 0. I hope you get what that how I wrote this value. First of all, we have to write CT, then X, then X, Y, then Z. So 3, 5, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. Now calculating the I, what is I? C square, DT square. Uh, just a few, uh, suggestion. Uh, if you have understood the first part, then you can pause the video and do the question by yourself and then check your answer. It will help you uh, to, uh, to go through this problem walk through in a better way. So let me just write and a simple suggestion more. If you are comfortable with this type of uh, notations that in the that is given in the Griffiths book, then it's okay to use them. You can use them. You can easily use them and you can easily solve the question. The answer will be same. The process will be time like space like anything you want. But the, you have to keep in mind which notation are you using. I am using these types of notation. So that is why I am uh, I'm, uh, solving the question like this. So let us solve. Uh, so what is, uh, let us use C as again 1. And TB minus TA I will be using here. So I get 4, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 whole square 4 minus uh, 5 minus 2. It is 9. So 0 and 0. So here I is negative here. I is negative. It means space like. And a simple trick that how to decide a interval is space like or time like. Let us calculate I in my convention. I am telling you. Let us uh, uh, choose I first. Then put the values. If I comes out to be negative. Then look into, into your I. The whose uh, coefficients are negative. The space components, uh, components, the space coefficients are negative. If space coefficients are negative, then the uh, uh, interval be, will be space-like. In upper, in the above part, you can see that it comes out to be positive. And whose component is whose coefficient is positive? Time component. So it is time-like. So this is the trick. So i interval is space-like uh, minor negative, which is less than zero, and it is space-like. Now coming to part number second, is there an inertial frame? If so, find its velocity. Again, he's saying now it is space like so uh, it means it can occur simultaneously, but it cannot occur at the same time because space like it is not zero. It is sorry. It is not equal to zero. So, so they can uh, cannot occur at same place, but they can obviously occur at same time. So what you, you will do, you can use the Lorentz transformation formula to calculate the velocity. How you how you can calculate the velocity? You can just use. Uh, C dt uh, is equal to in the dash frame dt dash is equal to gamma dt minus vx by v sorry v dx by c square. You can use this formula as it is occurring simultaneously. So dt is 0. It is given in the question. So dt dash is equal to gamma with a negative sign v dx by c square. And let me just uh, separate this c square as c dt dash is equal to minus gamma v by c dx. So what can you do next? We need to calculate this. Oh, sorry. We need to calculate velocity. So uh, I know this uh, c is 1 obviously. C is given in portion as 1. So dt dash is uh, dt delta, uh, delta t dash is 3 minus 1 I guess. Yes, 3 minus 1 which is 2. So 2 is equal to minus uh, gamma 
into what is it, it v by c is beta and dx obviously dx is uh, uh, i think 9 5 minus 3 oh 3 yes dx is 3 so you can put the values here 3 and you can calculate v from here just v by c and c is also 1 in this case just substitute the values and you will get your answer under root sorry 1 minus v square by c square just substitute the values and you will get v from from this equation all right it is your task to calculate v i have for, uh, given you uh, the concept what is the concept that use Lorentz transformation formula as they are occur simultaneously so dt is equal to zero but dt dash is not equal to zero so dt dash i have put the values v we need to calculate dx i have put the values and gamma i have also put and uh, in this and you will calculate and you will get your answer now in the next part what is saying is there any inertial system in which they occur same again if the uh, interval is space like then it cannot occur at the same place obviously so no the answer of c part uh, uh, second second uh, question c part is no because interval is interval is space like so they cannot occur at same point they can't occur at same point so that's all for the concept part and the theory part uh, if you are confusing with this uh, this uh, time uh, in interval uh, invariant interval formula then you can use this but your answer will be uh, your concept and answer will be correct don't worry this is also correct and this is also correct so that's all for this video if you have any queries let me know in the comment section thank you bye bye